Introduction to User Inputs in Scratch Part 3 Keyboard Another way you can actually take the user input and then use the user input is actually the keyboard. You can use the arrows, actually left and right arrow to actually take the user input. So in this case you can use the X coordinates and minus 10 actually if you if the the, the left arrow is actually pressed you can actually move leftward now the right arrow if to do the right arrow if you just put 10 step forward she so goes forward okay and the problem with that is actually it's not very smooth and every time you actually press the key the program actually stops so you want it to continue okay you don't want it to stop so the way to do that is is to use uh, the, the forever so forever is it's like a loop uh, the forever loops and whenever there's actually if the key is left or right uh, arrow is actually pressed then change okay move by 10 10 steps okay so if you do minus 10 then it actually moves backwards to in x coordinates and if you do 10 uh, uh, just 10 then it actually do moves uh, towards the right in x coordinates so if you want to do the same thing for up and down you just change the X to Y, okay, make another copy and just change the X to Y, so you will go up, okay. Uh, if you want to actually make both up and down, both you need to make two copies, so make another duplicate copy and then you can actually make that go up and down, okay. So here you have it. Now you can actually make the spike go up and down.